Welcome home. We are WNST. Towson and Baltimore and Baltimore Positive. Yes, we're still at it. AM 1570. I hope you set a spot on your dial. We're going to be doing the Maryland Crab Cake Tour. Uh, I have to get rid of the 25th anniversary cupcake. We have to go to the 26th anniversary oyster. Uh, we're doing the Maryland Oyster Tour beginning uh, the day that the Ravens open their season next month on the 5th. So we're a month out on that. Uh, all of brought to you by our friends at the Maryland Lottery. We have the Gold Rush 7s doublers. We'll be giving these away on the 23rd at Fadley's at Lexington Market. Also, our friends at Jiffy Lube Multi Care, keeping us out on the road and keeping Luke out of training camp all week. Um, we'll have some Orioles action back home next week as they're playing all American League East this week, as well as our friends at Jiffy Lube Multi Care, uh, getting the car out on the road and Liberty Pure keeping our water clean as well. This guy, one of our great sponsors, keeping the money uh, clean as well. And certainly a summertime. And we talk about Delaware and Maryland and Ocean City. And my wife and I were looking at some concerts on that Delaware side down there in Selbyville where they have that shed, that Freeman Arts Pavilion down there. So um, Leonard Raskin, I will say this to you. I am going to down the ocean next week. I haven't been there down the go. beach. I haven't, I haven't been across the Bay Bridge since the Key Bridge fell. <laughs> um, so I haven't been I haven't been across the Bay Bridge all summer. Um, so I will be going next week. Uh, I'm doing broadcast from Thursday and Friday at Mako. That is the annual Maryland convention of everybody that does business with the state. The governor's there. Everybody will be there. All the electeds are there. All the people that do business there. Uh, Maryland Lottery's there. John Martin will be on next week with us down at the uh, the Fish Pal Convention Center. But I know, like, you're here to talk about go. Delaware, not Maryland, right? No, no, no. Talk about it all. But this is uh, White Marlin Week. It is, and they've White extended that Marlin by an week. extra day. Yes. So, so some big catching down there. I think uh, Michael Jordan is is in the house. I, I when his plane lands in Salisbury, everything stops on the Eastern Shore. Right. 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 It's a big deal. Well, you know, Evan yeah. Brown, uh, one of our great sponsors, and I know you've joined me out at State Fair before. Yeah. Like yeah. Beaumont and El Guapo. Evan is an annual angler. He is in it every year. He has one of the houses right there, you know, gets a little condo on the pier. I've sat with him at seven o'clock after he's been out time. fishing all day. It's like well, they're up at they're up at three, four in the yeah, morning. Yeah, they explain they're, they're it all out, to me, and it's they're insane. heading out at four in the morning and and hunting for big fish. Brian so, Eater, my childhood good. friend, also from Dundalk, who owns the Chaucer, one of our uh, other great partners in in Highland Town. He won. He had a check a couple of years ago. There he you was go. one of the boats that cashed the percentages in. He won a couple hundred grand. It was like the whole deal, right? Um, right. It's a big is, thing. It's that a is a big thing. thing down there, but but you've abstained. Your family goes down. This is the week where I give you because we did a lot of sports last week, and I'll yeah, I'll let yeah, you yeah. get on holiday and Kobe May. I'll let you do what we can get Lamar fake football. We do all that, but you right. love tax free week in Maryland coming up, coming it's, up. It's next week, and you next have a week. place in Delaware. You yes. are. The tax free all the time. The house. You know, tax I don't free all the time. I'm not going to blame Trump on you, but you know. You're you're part of that stew. Hey, look, but this, my, this vote, money my vote in Maryland won't make a difference whether Trump gets elected or not. But, but this money <laughs> part, Kim Classic, yes. either, thank God for that. The um, money part. The money part of Delaware and Maryland. This is where you can make me a Republican if you didn't have this creep running your party who's hey. going to go through all that. Larry but Hogan. You, we got Larry Hogan. He's not. He's a rhino. So we don't like him anymore. Hey, right? hey so, whatever. But here's People the deal. People like them till they don't like them. This is where <laughs> you and I, and I know half taxes. more than half your family taxes. thinks you're nuts with politics. Of course. That's fine. But the no, tax not more than part half. Maybe of half. this Delaware, Maryland thing, <laughs> I want to I want to get rid of Westmore. We're going to get rid of him and make you the governor of Maryland. And we're going to have you change all of this. Tell me how they do it differently in Delaware in a way that you and many other people, including businesses that incorporate in Delaware, take advantage of it, right? Now, we have a week here, and it's next week for shopping, for back to school, which is a big part of this. There's an incentive part of this. I'm sure Governor Moore is going to be all about this. I'm going to be down in Ocean City when it's going on. So, but tell me how Maryland generates the revenue it needs. Because Billick's a Republican like you. He got out of the state. Well, one thing, sold one his thing place, hang on, hang on. Because he couldn't afford to die here. That was a right, big one part thing, of this. One thing that, that is is got to be said first, when you say generate the money that they need, the government generates money to spend, okay? And they spend it frivolously and stupidly on all kinds of things that they shouldn't spend it on. That's the first thing. Many more things could be privatized than are. And 
lots of spending on lots of stuff leads to we need lots of revenue. And when you need lots of revenue, you raise taxes and taxes hit the lower and middle class the hardest, especially regressive taxes. So sales tax, it's what we're talking about, is a regressive tax. Regressive Somebody, meaning the money's in it, my bank and now I no, want to spend no, it and I have to no, be taxed no, no, no. to do it? No, no. no. Okay. Meaning it hits the lower and middle class the hardest. That's what you mean by regressive. Regressive I, tax. I thought you meant like, all right, I've paid my income no, taxes. No, 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 no. I've paid everything. Now I have money in my bank account. And every no. time I cross a bridge where I you know, I have to pay tolls, I sure. have to pay things sure. that that I've already generated the, the money that I have made. Well, you taxed a million times. Government. You get taxed right, a million right. times. Sure. You're right about that. But no, I'm talking about the fact that somebody with wealth, somebody of means, goes out and buys the stuff they want. And if it's a 6% sales tax on a $10,000 item, a $1,000 item, a $100 item, they don't care. It's just a cost of buying stuff. But if you don't have means and you're going to buy your kids clothes, shoes, backpacks. And 100 things, becomes 106. That's the difference. Becomes 106. That's $6 matters dramatically to that person the effect on the lower and middle class of sales tax property tax those types of things tolls cigarette tax which is now i mean look i am not about smoking i'm not a smoker I'm not an advocate of smoking they just raised the cigarette tax five dollars a pack nestor when i was a kid 14 years old i worked at the royal farm store which is now the farm store. Uh, was it real fresh, real fast then? No, it? no, there was no, there. Food. No. No, it was no food. There was no food. Oh, that's the right. The only thing there's we had was, was we had coffee that we perked in a filter in a pot with water. And we had, uh, it wasn't Krispy Kreme back then. It was a local donut vendor that came in every night and brought in fresh donuts. You also had, you also had the ices that went into the baseball cup. Cause I used to get the baseball. Yeah, helmets. yeah, yeah. yeah. Down but, in Mesa but Avenue. That was, was it. Kid. Yes. That right. was it. But my point is, and I don't remember the number because I'm not a smoker, but I do remember people coming in angry as hell because cigarettes went to a dollar a pack and they were going to quit smoking by God because it went to a dollar a pack. Nobody quit smoking at a dollar a pack, but but they threatened to. Well, this is but where now, you and I can get sideways on the government saying, but should my people point smoke, is, should they? But the problem then is the health care toll 40 years yeah, but, later. But, but irrelevant. On, on the government. Irrelevant. <laughs> no, it's not on the government. It shouldn't be on the government. That's the problem. They take so much money that they make you uh, a slave to their to their programs. Okay, it sh things should be privatized. The, the government should only be involved in things they need to be involved in. Okay, uh, roads, bridges, safety, and rules of of property ownership. Fine. But when we charge people six cents to buy stuff that they can drive three minutes over to Delaware and pay nothing for, that's that's a problem. So they don't generate the money they want. Now, what they say coming up, you'll hear it all this week. Tax-free week next week. Buy an item of clothes. Buy shoes. Buy backpacks for your kids. Under $100. I don't know what the heck you can get for under $100, but I guess you can. Go to Walmart or wherever else. Target those kind of places. Sure. Under a hundred dollars, you pay no sales tax. And they tout this as being fabulous for now. Who is this fabulous for? It's fabulous for the consumer and it's fabulous for the merchant. Okay. Wait a minute. If tax free week is fabulous for the consumer and fabulous for the merchant, why is it only one week? Why wouldn't it be tax free August? It would be fabulous for the consumer and fabulous for the merchant. If it's good for a week, why isn't it? You know, good I'm going to ask Mark Learman this. I'm, I'm going to see Brooke next week. She's the controller. I'm going to discuss this from a idiot in Dundalk's perspective. Yeah. Because I, I am wondering if I lived in Elkton. Yes, or if I go lived to Delaware on for 128th Street, Notion You're City, darn right. I would You're go to Delaware right. for everything. If Absolutely. I, if I cared about that $6 on the edge of every hundred, that, which... That 6% matters most to those that can afford it least. This is my point. Cigarette taxes. Again, I'm not going to make a statement that is 
a blanket statement. Let's be clear. But Don't people in, in, in Salisbury buy all their cigarettes across the border. Lower socioeconomic individuals tend to smoke more and drink more. I'm just going to put that out there. Fair enough. Therefore, the tax on cigarettes hits the people government pretends to say they're going to help the most because they're going to cost them a fortune in tax. Well, we've been doing this for a long time, like Boston Tea Party, right? Sin tax, right? Absolutely. Like, like if you well, do buying clothes for your kid for you, isn't a sin. The government steps in to punish you by taxing look, you. Look, that we could go cannabis, through a list. Alcohol that could go through all, all the look, list. We could go through a list. We could go through a list of how many taxes the government inflicts on people that never existed a hundred years ago when the government didn't do everything they think they need to do today. Government feels that it needs to provide and do everything for everyone because people are too dumb to do things and take care of themselves. Well, it would be anarchy without the government, I must admit. Well, without the government, without certain pieces, but without everything. Well, I mean, you and I could go down to a big river, me being a Democrat and you being a Republican and a proud Democrat at this point, especially given my options in voting here and my options on ideology. But I Mine aren't any better, my friend. Your <laughs> private tie. Well, every everybody that's going to vote for Trump says that, that I'm independent. Like, I hear all that. But that the privatization part, and this is where I'm going to be writing in Labor Day week about my press credential, which they allow yeah. my Caucasian employee in and not me and don't call it yeah. discrimination. And if yeah. I call it discrimination, I'm a jerk. Right. But let me right. say this. After 30 years of doing this, these are two private companies that are owned by really, really wealthy white men yeah. who take every tax advantage of being Absolutely. wealthy white men and owning these teams that they get. They do the same thing. Nobody if they were wealthy in black men. Middle River. If well, they were matter. wealthy black men, they do the same well, thing. Wealthy, just wealthy. How about wealthy? How about Let's that? talk wealthy. So, I'm with you, wealthy. So, so on that case, the privatization part that you talk about is that they find a way to get six hundred million dollars in Rubenstein's case thrown into a deal to buy him a whole new house to fix the house up. That's because so we're that all too stupid to stop it. That's not government's job. The point is, they got it because the government takes it from you and me and people that can't afford 6%. Sports owners this happens no all the time. It's not just sports owners. Look, there are companies in this state that are making money hand over fist that are taking handouts from the government for all kinds of things. Property tax releases for 20 years to build a hotel in the city. It's garbage. It well, shouldn't tips, happen. Tips, right? Like, I, my it wife shouldn't happen my wife was downtown the other day and she said to me hey you know where nick's fish house where the bridge in hanover yep. where the walmart was she's like not just port covington has popped yep. up as baltimore yep. peninsula it's been rebranded right because port covington somehow a dirty name it's a port um and and the, the ships she said that they're building even more stuff down there residential and where are they getting the money and i said to her i'm like well they're knee deep in the port covington with making it have to work like i've driven by there and i don't think it's a good idea Look, bad idea Nestor, it's what we Nestor, did but that has line. to work now that all government has gone down there government has given the wealthy more money to be wealthier than you and i could count or find out about okay i appreciate I, you as a republican admitting it, that it's this is that, this that is, is the, lead, the lead stories rich the only difference in this country. that's the lead that's story. right the only difference between your politics and mine is whether or not we like what they use the money for but they ain't stopping taking it from either one of us no matter who wins this election sure the enough. federal government right now brings in more revenue than it ever has and yet our deficits are spiraling up because they spend more than we ever have. And the state is right there with it. Hogan left with a balanced budget and a surplus. In a short time, Wes Moore has caused that to be a deficit. And his solution is to tax more. If you look around the country, property taxes, another horrible tax. There are people in this country, this is the most, this is sad and untold. There are people in this country who can't afford to live in their homes that they've owned for 20 or 30 years in some states, counties in this country, because the property taxes have gone up to be more than what their mortgage was when they bought that house 20 years ago. Okay. Property taxes. If you look around the country, 
This is another dirty little secret. If you look around the country at property taxes, you will see that the areas that have the highest property taxes have the greatest flight out of those areas of anywhere. Well, I'm that's talking a Maryland white or black. problem, right? That's a, I'm that's talking, a, but th- I'm th- talking this is, everywhere. This is and I'm Florida, talking poor. and this is South Carolina trying to attract literally pull people out of Pennsylvania and Ohio. There are states all over the country. If you look at the top 20 areas that people are moving to, you'll see less property taxes. You'll see less state income taxes. You'll see less state sales taxes. The the government. So so as an example, you're our financial advisor, right? Yeah. Me and my wife. We're going to be that age. I'm 55. She's worked at the same company 32 years. Yeah. She's got this, that money, 401k. I got a business, whatever. If we wanted to shut down and you at Raskin Global, by the way, Leonard Raskin is our guest here. You can follow him uh, at Baltimore Positive or go to RaskinGlobal.com for all sorts of financial wisdom. So we talked a lot of sports last week, so we'll stay on topic of tax free. Yeah, sure. I remember when Billy pulled me up uh, in front of my condo about five years ago, he was turning 65, I think at the time, and he had his money thing. And he's like, look, I'm moving. I'm moving to a place where Maryland will kill me. If I were to die here, it's going to cost my daughters millions of dollars. This is not, he, he's just a famous guy who was my partner who told me this story. I'm hearing this along the line because I'm 55. A lot of guys I did business with are 70, 75, 80 years old now. And they're all sure. in Florida or they're in Delaware like you for a minute. Well, there's or, Okay, so or, there's reasons for that. One of the okay. reasons for that, and I don't know about Billick. Like it, it's probably not going to – I mean, it affects, but it's a bigger cash effect, but he can afford it. The, the fact is when you retire – Think about retirees mostly on a fixed income. He might be on a fixed income. It might be a little higher than most. <laughs> but a fixed income, nonetheless, in Maryland takes 6 7% of that. Okay, so if I have the option to make 100000 well, let's, let's say an average pensioner, Social Security and pension, I'm making fifty, sixty thousand $60,000 a year, maybe. If I'm making fifty, sixty thousand $60,000 and the government wants to take uh, 6% of that, three grand, and Florida... And that's Florida. times two if it's me and my wife. Like no, that's, in a- that, that's combined retirees right. sometimes. Right. Uh, you go to Florida, you go to Tennessee, you go to Texas, you go to Wyoming, Alaska, South Dakota, states that have no state income tax. You just save that money and your cost of living is less. So but if they're your dying cost of to have you like, there, right? This is almost of like this is like a rebalancing Look, act. 50, of who the hell? I've been there's to Wyoming. 50 laboratories. You don't want to live in Wyoming. I mean, like Some you're people not near do. anything. Like, there, yeah. There's 50 laboratories out there figuring out how to attract people. And what do they get money on? Well, they all make money, but they make it on different things. So, for instance, some states have personal property taxes where every year you have to tell them how much your cars are worth and you got to pay a tax on your car. Well, you can choose to drive a cheaper car, but income that then feeds you is hard to manipulate lower to save taxes. Okay. I can choose what car I drive property taxes. I can choose whether I want a half a million dollar, a million dollar or a $200,000 house. Therefore, Property taxes are based on that. And people think they own their home. You never own your home. You always share your home with the municipality local because there's property taxes. You may be done with your mortgage, but you're going to pay property taxes for the rest of your life. Yeah, all these people say, I'm really independent. Get your own electricity, your own water, your own. Some do. Right? Some do. You got a well. You got solar on the roof. You sell back to the grid. You know, but what we're talking about is the government and and how they inflict taxes. You pay tax on your income. You then, and you know my thoughts about that. <laughs> you, you then pay tax on your savings as you earn on it. You pay tax on your gains and your investment as you earn on it. You pay tax on everything you buy, basically, not on food right now in this state, but just about everything else. You pay sales tax, you pay property tax, you pay but gas tax. But the interesting tax. thing for me would be a real balance sheet. As an example, my, my in-laws, my mother-in-law and my <laughs> father-in-law um, yeah. moved to Florida yeah, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, whatever. Yep, they moved yep. from New Hampshire down there. I don't know what New Hampshire Two free taxes. states. Very yeah. free state, New Hampshire. Right, right. New, New Hampshire's a decent just cold. situation. It's just cold. Different than if they 
lived in Brookline, Massachusetts and moved or whatever. But yes, my, my point would be if you spreadsheet that out over yeah. their last 10 or 15 years yeah. and were to try to make a pitch for me and my wife to move to Naples or wherever where they're getting wet this weekend and boarding yeah, up right. all their, their stuff, right? All of that. That spreadsheet over the next 10 or 15 years – that's a pretty important part of your job at Raskin Global, right? Is well, to say, we look, have people we that are really want to live in, in Florida, but I might want then to live in South it. Carolina. No, no, no or right. like, but I want right. to move somewhere else, and I have X amount of money, and this is all the money I have. And I'm going right. to sell my house, and my kids are gone, and I don't That's have right. college, and I don't have it's, my dog. Just very died. few oh, people. I will I'm say ready this to make though. that move, and Mister, when I'll I say tell you, this. you spreadsheet that out. Yes. And say, I'm going to move somewhere. Yes. Where am I moving? Dude, yes. I like California. I know you and I do. And, and no, I thought it's beautiful. I love, gonna, I love it. I've every been there time a I go times. there, it. it's nine and three quarters when I buy a widget anywhere. It on is. Tax, it is. And then I drive by the gas station. 13% and it's income tax. It's $6 a gallon of gas. $3 and a gallon. And I'm thinking to myself. How much would Leonard Raskin have to pay me to move? Like my wife and I are going to move somewhere in vac in 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 retirement. It could not possibly be there. We're not rich you, enough to even think right, about doing that. Right. You know, I'm with you 100. percent That's not where people tend to go. Uh, where people tend to go are states that have lower costs, good health care, and they want to live. I will tell you this: regardless of the tax situation, very few people leave home. Because of taxes. It's rare. It's sunshine, okay? usually. It, it's it's they leave for some reason. My kids live in got a job in Houston. I'm moving to Texas because I want to be near the grandbabies. Well, it's I don't no. like the cold is usually probably what you've heard as a financial. This is my point. Years, right? right, right. It's it's I'm older, the cold. Some people are are hate the taxes, so they'll move across to Delaware or they'll move up to Pennsylvania. You know, short little jaunts. And how still much close. does that benefit you to do that? I guess is what my ask is. My and, ask the, is the, and you're probably going to say over 10 years between your 62nd and 72nd birthdays. It nest, couldn't matter. Don't be an idiot. Go no. there. You'll wind up with a quarter no. million dollars more no. in your bank account because no. you're just it, saving you're, money. You're saving it 10, depends 15, on 20 it. grand a year. It, you know? it depends how much you earn and what your what your other things you do in your life are but from a sales tax standpoint from a property tax standpoint i can tell you well, this. i'm not going to orioles and ravens games anymore so <sighs> i can do the show from delaware there you go I'm <laughs> tell you, i'll tell you this maybe why it's have... not so bad do they have satellite there <laughs> yes they do i i have clients who live in delaware have a home in delaware as i do and i have clients that have a home it ain't five minutes away in maryland called ocean city and the difference in property taxes on similarly similarly priced situated properties is less than a quarter. It's it's a seventy five percent difference. It's give me, huge. Give me a, make it financial for me over one year. Half a million, a half a million dollar house. We're talking the difference. Okay, in half property million dollar taxes. condo in Dewey Beach, little condo. We know what that looks like. Half a million. Yeah, that's, that's same. A pretty. That's a little same place in Ocean City, thing, right? Okay, same, same place. place Two, same, same place. They're All gotta right. be the same. Half a million, half a million. Okay. A thousand, four thousand. Three thousand a tax. year. A year difference. Okay. Yeah. Huge. And and I'm telling you, can you can look the numbers. It's it's. If it's not four to one, it may be three to one. But if you live there, over time, that gets to be significant. That's ten dollars uh, a day. I just did the math kind of quick on that. No, ten dollars yes, a day. Is. Yeah, yeah, ten dollars a day. Ten, it's about ten dollars. It's, it's three hundred dollars a month. Give Starbucks. Or take. Like, that's right? your Starbucks every day for free. Thirty six hundred bucks would be three hundred dollars. Free Starbucks, a... baby. Free Starbucks. Ten bucks at Starbucks. What the hell are you buying? I don't know. I don't go there. I go to Rofo. Absolutely, man. I don't, I, get it right. I, don't, I don't go there. Leonard Raskin is here. We'll be arguing through the uh, political season here about all this. But nonetheless, <laughs> next week is our big move next week. In Maryland. Tax-free week. If you're going to buy stuff, go out, get your stuff, save 6%. It's a beautiful week. Take advantage of it. It's your it. favorite week of the year. You're not going to Delaware next week, right? 
Uh, no, but if I <laughs> but if I was to do that, I would say, oh, I can stay home and shop. I don't well, have here's to spend what you can money do with me. on you the can, gas. You can come down to Ocean City with me and sit at yep. the convention hall and try to find Andy Harris. OK, we'll look for there him. There you go. I've been looking uh, for him for three years. I, I haven't found well, him. We should get him. We should get him. We should do a, a tag team and get him on. But I just know it. I'm in Maryland next week. So in Ocean City, I'm getting yeah. away with something being in Ocean City next week. Right. There you go. There you go. Because you're going to be buying stuff without tag. Only cheap. Clothes, only clothes, shoes, backpacks, pencils, pens. I don't know if you need any of that. Hey, dude, it's a political junket. All the drinks are free. I learned this last year. You know, there you with go. The lampshade on my head at midnight. Um, there you go. Let her ask you. Give me a asking global. If you want all of our sports thoughts, we had them last week after the draft, right. and uh, we got Lamar Some playing tax thoughts no today. fake football this week. We had the Steelers fist fight going on last week. So we got all sorts of things happening around here. Tell we me what you're doing in a nutshell. Uh, the we American have Lamar dream, this week. I tell people. So, so what I do is I help people figure out what to do with their money. The The goal is have a lot, keep it forever, spend and enjoy it, pass it on. Our, our, our mission is to help people, empower people to choose their financial future. We want to give people financial freedom. We want them to understand how their money works and make the most with it. Protect it, save it, grow it, spend it, pass it on. Uh, I had a guy recently tell me, his plan is to die broke. He's on the last day of his life. He's going to write his last check uh, and he's going to be broke. So he won't leave any inheritance to his kids. He's going to die broke. I said, well, how do you know when you're going to die? He said, well, if I'm broke, I'm going to take myself out. I said, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You're, you're trying to time your death to your money is a bad strategy. I said, uh, the goal is to have all the money you want, to spend all the money you want, to enjoy your life the way you want, and to leave all the money you had for your beneficiaries. And if you could do that, why in the world would you ever not do that? And that's what I help people do. Understand how to have it all, spend it all, enjoy it all, pass it on, and have the greatest life they possibly can while they're here. Business owners, professionals, executives, Call, find us, uh, raskinglobal.com, LinkedIn, And if Facebook. nothing else, come to the crab feast and figure it out when he throws that in October, right? There you go. There you go. Uh, let us help you handle your money and keep it away from those that would prefer to take it for their own use. Business and government and the NFL and the MLB and We'll there do Ticketmaster next week and how much of my money I get, <laughs> and, don't get uh, and, and fees as well. Leonard Raskin is here. Raskin, I think it's the only thing I spend money on anymore is like concert tickets and, you know, carry out. Uh, now, <laughs> now that I spend, you know, I am writing this huge thing for Labor Day. I'm writing letters to all the various parts that have decided to uh, try to cancel me and cancel my radio station. Um, it, it is amazing how much more, and you're my financial advisor, uh, I don't spend as much money on sports. Right. Well, How much money I spent go. on sports when they lock you out, you feel a little differently, even about taking about free giving them your money, that. about giving yeah. them your money. I give them my time um, and they don't need more fans, obviously throwing people like me out. They, they need more <laughs> journalists. So uh, I, I, I'm going to promise them that they're going to have more that they're under review as much as they think. There you go. Under, under review. review. So uh, let a Raskin can put your finances under review and help you out. He is at Raskin Global. He is in the front of Baltimore positive dot com. Um, you still see I have my multicolored pens out because. I'm trying to like there you get go. organized here. Look at that. It's August. It's tax free next week. That was week. the greatest thing you could ever have as a kid. Multicolored uh, pen. Multicolored. It, the problem is, is my blue runs out before the rest of them, and I have to denote that I have a broken pen. So uh, please send four color pens. This one actually has a has a purple on it, which <laughs> I really like that. But there it doesn't have a green, so I can't do money. So when I have to do one. money things, I have to have the other one. You green. have two multicolored. You remember the one that had like 20 colors? It was a big. Big round thing. Do you remember that? Got stuck in the. It, it, it never yeah. worked right. It never, it worked, never right. worked right. You knew that. See you. Uh, <laughs> Letter Raskin. He uh, he cheated on his exams too. Raskin Global <laughs> is the way to find him. Uh, it is fake football week around here. Luke's and Owings Mills. It's real baseball week. Certainly real baseball Indeed. week. A lot of new players. You need a lineup card to figure out who all these right. guys are at this point. Um, really interesting time for sports. Stay with us. We'll have plenty Absolutely. of sports ahead. We're BaltimorePositive.com.